going to be a fun one. Um, so a lot of people uh, like the draft, but don't have time to slog through full games like a lot of people do. Um, and want to understand uh, these players and just kind of, you know, know what their favorite team is getting. Or maybe you don't care about the draft at all until that player is on your team and you want to get an understanding of their game. Um, I think highlight scouting um, and using highlights and stats and stuff can be a very valid way um, to scout and evaluate prospects and just to kind of get a feel for who guys are and what they can be. Um, it requires some nuance, um, I think. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it um, with this wonderful highlight tape of Johnny Davis uh, from our friends at Basketball News. Uh, hi, friends. Um, I like this one because it's a little shorter. Um, I'm not going to do an hour-long highlight video for y'all. Um, but let's get started. I'm just, we're going to watch this. I'm just kind of going to go through my process. I think that out loud uh, when I'm watching a highlight video for a prospect that I've never seen. Obviously, I've seen Johnny Davis, um, but we're going to pretend for a lot of this that I haven't. So to begin, uh, we see him exhibiting some pick and roll craft uh, with a nice little jail jumper. Again, similar pick and roll craft as well. Um, see him turn into a pretty tough shot here. Uh, fading over that shoulder and draining in a tough shot. So some pick and roll ability, some tough shot making as well. That's a nice blow by. Uh, we see it's important to look at like the little things. Like you can see this defender isn't like really in a great position after coming over the screen. Um, but Johnny does still do a nice job using his strength. Um, I can see the strength already using his strength to get into that shoulder. Um, this is a beautiful finish. I love Johnny's ability to uh, finish through contact, to have speed on the ground and speed in the air, uh, to maintain his forward momentum in the air because he can really get off the floor despite having contact. Um, and something we'll, you know, we'll see is despite not having the highest vertical in the world, he is so functional as a leaper um, as well. This is an awesome rotation, not only because you know he's kind of guarding two players at once, he's stunning at this cut, and then he rotates down for that well-timed block. But a lot of times, uh, you don't see any defense on a player's highlight tape. Um, and if you don't see something on a highlight tape, that probably means a player doesn't do it very often or isn't very good at it. Not always, but it definitely is an indicator. Um, so seeing some defense from Johnny early uh, is nice to see. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe he's a good defender. Um, you know, I don't know. Time to watch some jumpers. Uh, you, you see Johnny get into the shot. Uh, love him kind of fake this this cut in. I, I already saw some footwork on some of the finishes and now I'm seeing some nice footwork on this off ball shot as well. Uh, so that's a trend I'm noticing. I'm liking how Johnny uh, uses his feet to his advantage. Uh, another off movement shot here. Um, and what I'm noticing through all these shots, we see off movement shots in different ways, catch and shoots, a face up jumper right here, a pull up jumper right here, is that Johnny is getting his shots off in a variety of ways, which I think is really important for shooting projection uh, through my research. Players who shoot many kinds of shots tend to work out uh, better than players who don't. Like if you see in a highlight tape that a player is just shooting catch and shoots, um, I think that could you know potentially be a concern. Um, you know, not always, but it's something to think about for sure. Um, as for form, I'm not really looking at anything crazy. Like, I don't know too much, but the shot looks the same every time. No nothing looks obviously out of place, so I'm okay with it. Something I'm noticing on, on this play, though, um, which is a little bit of a negative. Uh, while Johnny does really nice to, to use his snatch back and create space with his deceleration, I have noticed in a couple of the earlier drives as well, that he kind of struggles to create separation with his burst and in 1v1 situations. As you see, uh, a pretty good defender in Max Christie here, NBA size and length, uh, Johnny isn't able to create separation from, um, and he resorts to, um, you know, this pullback jumper and a tougher shot than, you know, he could have maybe got. Uh, you know, I'm thinking maybe is this a trend with him? Spoiler alert, this is a trend with Johnny Davis. Um, but again, it, it's important to look for stuff like that um, in, in highlights as well. I steal this from my, my good friend PD Webb's heuristic. Um, if it doesn't look easy at the college level, um, it's not going to be easy at the NBA level. So things get harder, and it's important to assess whether or not a player uh, is just making the game look easy um, and is really dominating his current level of competition. So this is just a bunch of shots for like two minutes, um, so I'm, you know, it's, it, it's going to be redundant, and I'm going to skip through uh, a lot of them until we get to some different stuff as well. So it's not, now we have 
Johnny looking uh, looking really strong and balanced in midair um, as he finishes through that defender and converts the N1. Uh, love to see that. Again, this is a really nice move. Um, I'm seeing Johnny likes to use a lot of kind of quick uh, stop-start moves. A pretty like stiff, straight-line driver, but he does use his pace to shake this defender um, and finishes as well. Again, I'm noticing that he isn't the most vertically explosive, but he's able to use his strength and balance to you know, make the most out of his jump. This is a very nice split as well. Uh, the handle doesn't look amazingly tight, but he is able to get through those defenders um, and finish through contact once again. The, the through contact finishing feels really impressive. Like, he's able to get pretty high off of both one and two feet. Like, this, you know, a couple plays ago, it was um, like this play. Uh, he's getting pretty, you know, elevating enough uh, to, you know, this this way, horizontally, off of one foot. Um, and then on a play like this, um, a play like this, excuse me. Uh, no, what, what, what do we do? Whatever. A play like this, he's able to, to, to elevate off of two feet, kind of like no one's there. Uh, he gets a lot of height, uh, which, which you really, really like to see as well. This is an awesome finish as well. Um... I, I'm seeing a lot of wrong foot finishes from Johnny, uh, a lot of, you know, right right hand, uh, right foot finish, just like this beautiful touch one over. Um, but again, I continue to notice that, you know, most of the finishes on this highlight tape are pretty difficult, um, which could lead me to conclude that as on a large scale, Johnny isn't the greatest at creating so a separation off the dribble, which is true, I think. I, I think that's true of Johnny's game um, and you could piece together. And you could piece that together from, from talking to smart people and talking to people who have watched more, which is always important as well. And, you know, when you see stuff like this on tape, you can go look at the stats and see what they say. I see a lot of tough shots. Um, it seems like Johnny might be, you know, a heavy carrier of this offense. And from the tape, it looks like his finishing is probably pretty good. So I'm going to go to his Bartorvik page, uh, just type in Johnny Davis. Um, and we see, yes, indeed, his usage is pretty crazy. He's carrying a high load on this Wisconsin team. Um, as, you know, we'll kind of get to, he's, he's not turning the ball over a ton. Um, he's getting to the line. His finishing, again, 62% on 143 attempts. Let's see. Let's click on the name and see the assisted rate. Uh, almost 70% unassisted, which is pretty dang good um, for a guy of that usage load. So I'm pretty impressed. Uh, the finishing kind of aligns with what I thought. Uh, the shot indicators are okay. Um, I, this is my favorite one, the the far twos. As those can be a really impressive indicator of, as I mentioned before, shot versatility and pull up shooting. I have a whole video on this. Go watch it. Um, the free throw is solid. The the volume is just okay. Um, but again, I think that helps us contextualize some of the things um, that we saw on tape without knowing a ton about the context of his team throughout watching a lot of games or talking to other smart people. Again, yeah, we're seeing a trend here. Struggling to create tons of separation, but flashing crazy balance and touch and ambidextrous finishing on all of these plays. And we're going to continue to see it. Um, I think, you know, based on, off of this highlight tape, again, you see him use his strength to dislodge a big here. It's pretty reasonable to conclude that Johnny Davis could be quite a good finisher. Um, in the NBA, which is something as someone who's watched lost of his games, uh, I do agree with that. But also, uh, again, a shot like this, like even though it's six in the shot clock, I don't know how amazing of a decision this is. Um, Johnny's had a lot of tough shots in this highlight tape and a lot of shots that you could call questionable decisions. It doesn't look like he's looking for passes. Uh, it doesn't really look like he's you know looking to get to the rim you know as much as he takes pull ups sometimes. Um, so those are also potential concerns that. I'm gathering from this again it's impossible to know from just highlight tape um, as you know you're not getting the consistency from a highlight tape and you're always going to miss little stuff but there are conclusions i can start to draw from watching a lot of from watching a lot of these games uh, i believe we're going to skip forward a lot of this is again we see some off ball stuff here again just good to know it's in a player's repertoire he is an active cutter again i i like this kind of fake communication um, immediate cut into space and man look how quick he gets up off of two feet I absolutely love this play this is awesome he fools those two defenders so bad again just seeing some more role versatility uh, some more off ball stuff looks like some transition work as well again in transition again I just look at how easy the buckets are and whew, that is an easy one uh, with some more beautiful footwork again another example of Johnny's footwork working in a different way 
um, a steal. I believe there's lots of just pick sixes here. Yeah, uh, which again, a nice representation of Johnny's instincts and the fact that there are defensive clips in general on this highlight, um, even if a lot of them are defense and the offense, is a good sign that, you know, Johnny could have pretty solid instincts. As, of course, highlight tapes aren't going to show stuff like screen navigation um, and like contesting at the rim, but, you know, you can see stuff like instincts. And if there are a lot of plays like this, which there are quite a few plays like this, like we're not even done, um, I think it's fair to assume that, that Johnny can maybe do that. Um, and again, if you look at the stats, the above two block and steal is really, really good. And, you know, as someone who has watched a lot of him, like he is a quite good defensive prospect as well. So that definitely corroborates it. Again, shot versatility, one of the more important things you can look for. Um, and we're going to see Johnny take and make a lot of impressive mid-ranges, um, as he does quite a bit often. Again, not a lot of separation, but a lot of tough mid-ranges and a lot of tough makes. So can Johnny Davis um, really rely on tough shot making to create offense? Uh, what is his NBA role going to look like with these skills? These are the questions I'm starting to think about, um, especially when I'm at this point of watching, when I've kind of gotten a sense of what he's doing so you know these Johnny's acting as like a high primary creator for this Wisconsin team it's evident and it's taking a lot of shots he's not going to be that in the NBA and I'm seeing a lot of really impressive tools um, the finishing looks awesome there's some really impressive slashing moments with his strength and his off arm and his craft um, there's some versatile shot making potential and I see that as like a really interesting potential second secondary option um, like, you know, as one of my friends on Twitter said today, maybe someone like in a Jordan Poole-esque role as a scorer next to other stars. Um, and I'm, you know, also potentially interested in Johnny's defense. And from talking to other people who have watched the guy more than, you know, a version of, of me would, uh, they also, you know, tend to say his defense is pretty good as well. Um, again, we see more blocks, more Johnny chasing around off, off ball. Uh, it's really good stuff. One thing that we're not seeing on Johnny's tape, um, and you know he is a lead guard, uh, we're not seeing a lot of passes. Um, and again, just like the defense thing, if a player isn't passing a lot in their highlight tape, if they don't have impressive or even unimpressive passes, then they're probably not a great passer. Um, and even in, in the highlight tape, I mean, we've seen a lot of questionable shots in early offense. Uh, we've seen a lot of you know tough kind of contested shots, and you know we see passing windows like this, which certainly, you know, it's not the easiest window in the world, but this is pretty wide open and a hook pass is reasonable. Um, and yet that's not really even something Johnny looks for. So like looking in those missed passing windows uh, is always good. Again, we see more of the kind of ridiculous vertical athleticism here in a functional way. And like, this is what I mean. Like, this is not a situation um, that you can replicate in an open gym or in athletic testing at the combine. This is dynamic. This is fluid. Johnny slips, has to keep his balance, get up, and once he is up, immediately shuffle his feet and rise for this block. Like, this is wildly impressive functional athleticism, um, a use of his athletic tools that applies to the game of basketball rather than just slam, slam magazine ball as life highlights. So that is just the last thing I'm seeing from Johnny. Um, some real event creation on defense. Once again, thank you to uh, the basketball news guys that, or, you know, whoever puts together this video. So yeah, that is how I, as a first time watcher, would go through and scout um, someone who, you know, I'm not, I'm not familiar with, or as someone, who, as someone, as a fan of someone's team who, who just drafted him. Um, you can do this with anyone. Um, and if you, you know, if you watching enjoyed this, I can certainly do this with more prospects because I have a lot of fun making these and reacting to, and reacting to these myself. Um, but yeah, just, you know, look for players, outlier strengths, look for what players are really doing. Uh, the versatile shot making, the different kinds of finishes, is a player getting easy looks, especially for guard and creator prospects like Johnny, uh, and what is there and what isn't. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing